James one is James the wine guy. We have Wars 20 year old Tawny Port. I'll tell you about this wine, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna pour more of my wine glass and I use a regular wine glass and you should do the same simply because you really wanna smell your wine. You don't have to pour a lot. And the uh, purpose of this wine is to enjoy with uh, your dessert or have this as a dessert. I like to serve this with cheese. I like to serve this with an orange cake that I like to make as well. Uh, orange cake or orange bread. And I think this is a handsome, beautiful, gorgeous wine where I think the price point is actually pretty inexpensive for the quality that you get of this wine. So let me show you the bottle. It's a nice package and I have given this out as gifts. Uh, I like that uh, bottom portion here, it's uh, substantial. And what I do with this is I keep this afterwards and I use it say for uh, vinegar or olive oil. It's a really nice package and a nice gift. So 20 year old Tawny Port, more information just on the side labels. That's actually just a semi wrap around label here and uh, fantastically beautiful, gorgeous wine. So gradual um, oxidation on this wine. And so it spends a very long time in casks, right? And uh, hence the beautiful coloration and gentleness to this wine in terms of it not being so overly sweet. Uh, it's just something to enjoy, again, as a dessert wine, to enjoy for that after the dinner experience. I definitely wanna enjoy this with a salty cheese, with cheesecake, enjoy this with a orange cake uh, that I like to make myself, uh, but I think it's a fantastically beautifully done wine and serve slightly chilled. Some people serve it very chilled. I like to serve it just a little bit, uh, say, uh, cellar temperature, and uh, I think it's nicely done there. And additionally, I serve this in a regular wine glass. I use a burgundy wine glass for this because I think it's nice to uh, smell the wine. And if you have a teeny tiny port glass, I think those are really intended originally to serve smaller portions so you weren't pouring too much. So the nose is beautiful, dried autumnal fruit of pear and apples as well as cinnamon, cardamom, leaves on a forest floor, suede notes as well. Beautiful. And next, the palate characterization. Dried fig notes as well as dried apples, bit of beeswax, roasted pine nut, hint of cardamom. So this is not gonna be that toothachingly sweet, uh, sweet or dessert wine. It's very moderated and it's fantastic to enjoy again with cheeses, enjoy it on its own and enjoy it in a regular formatted wine glass. Your palate will thank you for it and so the people that are enjoying this wine with you. I'll put more information on the producer down below, but also I'll put the 10-year uh, Tawny Port, which I did that review, I'd say about nine years ago, and I was inspired to do uh, you know additional videos on Wars Port Wines. Uh, long family heritage of the Symington family, as well as a 1670 foundation uh, from the Wars, uh, Wars family. And I think that's a, a really great testament to this heritage wine. A beautiful, gorgeous experience. I think a lot of people skip out on Tawny Ports when it's such an appreciable wine. So I think it's a fantastic wine to enjoy often. I, I wish more people would enjoy more port wine and uh, Tawny Ports and to make it a routine part of a weekly experience on the tasting table. Thank you for watching. Let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. And uh, thank you for your support. I'll be back for more. And uh, subscribe button's right up here so you'll see the latest videos that I'm producing. So please hit that button for that reason. Thank you again for watching. Stay connected and we'll see you soon. Salute.